could be a sadness Maybe I could be something more Well, baby, it's always summertime When I'm with you, that's not a lie Hello guys, I am so excited for today's video because we are doing a declutter and reorganizing and those are one of my favorite videos to film so I hope you're excited for it as well. My last declutter is already a little while ago so I thought it would be a good time to go over everything and see if there are things that I can get rid of. I don't feel like there is super much I am going to declutter but we are going to do quite a lot of rearranging, especially in our scullery because, well, I'll explain that to you when we get there. For now, I want to start with going upstairs and tackling my closet first because there are a few things that I know I want to get rid of. So, and maybe there will be some more. So let's go. expecting I'll give you a little run through everything so the first thing I'm getting rid of is this very thick merino wool Dill of Norway sweater which I absolutely love it is super nice quality I bought it secondhand last year so it's pretty new to me but because I bought it secondhand I couldn't fit it before I bought it and the sleeves are too short and for a while I was like oh well I'll just ignore it and it's fine but it's actually really annoying and my wrists do get cold. So I'm going to see if I know someone who I can make happy with this and otherwise I'm going to resell it and I will continue my hunt for a nice Dill of Norway sweater second hand and maybe this year I will have more luck and make sure the measurements are right with the next one. <laughs> so sadly I'm saying goodbye to this one the next one I'm also quite sad to let go of. This is my repeat cashmere sweater. It's 100% cashmere. It's super soft. I've worn it tons for two or three years. I'm not really sure. But the elbow is really completely worn out. It has a big hole and it had a hole before and I uh, tried to fix it and now it worked for a while and it got a hole next to it again and it's completely ripped. So. It is really time to get rid of this. I did debate to wear this as pajamas or like as a thermal underlayer in winter, but I'm honestly really annoyed when there's a big hole in my sweater. So I I'm going to remove the stitches I made here, remove the yarn I used to fix this hole, and then I'm going to send it to a special cashmere recycling uh, center so I don't want it to go to waste and it will be recycled and I'll go on the hunt for a cashmere sweater as well and then this one I know I decluttered before it's a gray cardigan I think I got rid of it in my last declutter I know that's super silly but I waited for a few weeks before dropping off my donations and by that time I was doubting myself and I wasn't sure if I wanted to get rid of it so because it's my only cardigan and I was like well just let's just put it in my set of drawers and see if I will reach for it and of course I didn't. So now it can really go I really don't wear it I haven't worn it all winter not one time so it can go. <laughs> this is one for in my maybe pile this time I'm not going to get rid of it um, immediately it is a striped blouse and 
I just don't really enjoy wearing it anymore. It's not really my style. There's also nothing wrong with it. I do wear it sometimes. I have worn it this summer already. I'm just a little meh about it. So I'm just going to put it in the drawers and see if I will miss it or in, and if I'll reach for it. And this is also one that I'm not going to immediately get rid of because I haven't found a replacement for it. It is a really old, worn out pair of shorts. It is super soft. I've worn it tons for years and years and it is really washed out. It lost a lot of its color and I just don't feel comfortable wearing this out in public anymore. But it's super comfy with hot weather. So before I get rid of it, I want to have a replacement. Another very well loved item that I'm going to get rid of with pain in my heart is a pajama. And I'm not even going to unfold it. It is a pink pajama trousers and I've had it for over 10 years. And it is so worn out, super soft. It was my favorite PJs. Um, it has multiple holes in it. I've been dreading letting go of it and looking for another pajama for years. But yeah, it needs to go. And lastly, I'm going to get rid of this stitch shirt. I've worn this as a regular shirt a couple of years ago but it doesn't really quite fit my style anymore so for the past few years i've worn it as a pajama but it's actually not really comfortable as a pajama it also is not white at all anymore it has really lost its color every the white has turned gray the blues have turned gray so this one can go and as a comparison i'm keeping this one as pjs which does still have its color like the difference between this and this is really big. You see? So this one is a keeper as PJs and this one can go. Let's continue in the living room and tackle this closet. There's actually not a lot to do here i'm going to put back my coloring books because my summer break is almost here and i think it would be nice to color in the sun as like a little meditative moment so i'm putting those back in there and there are very few things i want to get rid of let's take a look anyway maybe there are some things that i haven't thought of that i can let go of i don't want to turn 25 don't know what I'm doing with my life Something tells me I should keep on trying But giving up seems way too nice Way too nice All of my friends are doing things Yeah, well I drive alone down empty streets it's like I should be there by now I can't see the road somehow Like I said, not that much happening here I'm just going to put back my craft supplies And then I'll show you what I'm getting rid of Okay, so here's everything that's going Not my pencil case though I had this empty Muji pen in my pencil case so I took that out and that's going. I have this little Craden bird that I folded in a video that can go. And we have a smartphone that is going. I'm going to donate it to a charity who are going to recycle it and get money for it. This was actually my partner's phone and he has my old phone now. And I bought a refurbished new phone, which is the first time I bought a second hand phone. So I'm really proud of that, but my partner used it for almost four years, so that's not too bad either. These are some important documents that I'm not going to show you, but I need to find a good filing system for it. And I think I'm going to store them upstairs. And here is a little drawer with a lot of cables, which I'm going to sort out because I think a lot of them can go. I don't want to turn 25. 
looks. Okay, so I'm going to keep the dirty one <laughs> because it has been used a lot. I don't know what we used it for. And this one looks poorly made, so I'm going to get rid of that one and keep this one. And then with these, I am going to keep this one because it's nicely bundled. And I'm going to get rid of these two. Let's continue in the kitchen. Not much to declutter here either. But that's just because I have already a quite curated home in general. So every time I do a declutter, there's not tons of things to get rid of because I like to use my things for as long as possible, as long as I enjoy them, as long as they are able to be used properly. So usually the things in my home don't switch up that much and most items in my home are already here for years and years like four years ten years some even longer so yeah that's why i it is a little declutter but there are a few things in my kitchen i want to get rid of the first one is this cute cup we have used this for eight ten years but uh, the handle is broken and we still used it for one or two years for our coffee steamer to catch the steam but we can also just use a regular cup for that. So I think it's about time for this to go. I'm also going to get rid of my Jamie Oliver cookbook. It is a fabulous cookbook, but it has very few vegetarian recipes, but there are two or three recipes uh, from this book that I have in my regular rotation and I'm not really interested in the other recipes So I'm just going to write the recipes that I love in my notebook and that I can Hopefully make someone else happy with this cookbook And then this really heavy slow juicer is also going to go because we bought it second hand because our previous juicer broke but this one really isn't working for us and we already purchased another one second hand that is working for us so I'm going to try and resell this one so it will find a home where it will be loved and used. That's it for the kitchen! Let's continue in the bathroom. I have two drawers that need some reorganizing and a few things can go. So let's do this. So what we're getting rid of, a little dropper thingy for my face oil, which I didn't know if I was going to use again, but I'm not going to. So this can go in the trash, some empty medicines, packaging can go in the trash, like just paracetamol. Um, this is going to go, I kept like little parts of soap, the last little cubes that I wasn't able to finish. And I hoped to, I don't know, be able to find a purpose for this. But the only purpose I found was like those soap bags, which you can put them in and then use them. But those are like 
four or six euros, which is, in my opinion, a lot of money to just finish a few pieces of really cheap soap. So I'm just going to get rid of them. I'm not going to use them. Let's go. I'm going to get rid of this little screw cover that I thought I was going to reinstall in our shower, but I didn't do it for years, so it can go. Then we have some of these, which can go in our first aid kit in the kitchen. And last but not least, I'm getting rid of this lip balm. It's already years old and probably expired. And I also didn't use it for years because um, I had a few of them and I really liked this one. It was really soft, but I don't like applying lip balm with perfume anymore. So it can go. I'd rather just use shea butter. Now that all the small bits and bobs are out of the way, let's tackle today's main project, which is we need to get rid of this closet and we find a new location for the stuff inside, whether it's decluttering or finding a new home for it because we ordered a new freezer or actually an extra freezer. This one is going to stay, but we also ordered another one which is going to go in the scuttery because we have a lot of veggies that we want to freeze for winter. We also are picking a lot of blackberries that we want to freeze and uh, raspberries and our freezer is just getting too small and we recently got an allotment garden so for this year it's a little late to grow foods abundantly we are doing some things in there this year but next year we can really expand our veggie garden even further so to keep all the food fresh and edible in winter we are going to freeze a ton of it and that's why we need to get rid of this closet it's not ideal to get rid of this closet but let's see what we can do, how far we get, and I guess we are going to go Fumio Sasaki's way today. Get rid of the nest before you get rid of the pest. We are going to get rid of the closet and then see where the stuff ends up. I actually came up with an idea to store some things because we have this little shelf which we use for Rumbo stuff which can actually also use some decluttering and some of the stuff that we need in this um, scullery I can put over here like the laundry detergent and stuff like that which is really impractical to put somewhere else. So I'm going to make some room for that. This is Rambo's backpack, but it can actually go because the zipper is broken, sadly. I'm also going to declutter these shoes because the little <laughs> cushion in the back is broken and now every time I wear these I get blisters so that's uncomfortable they can go these were the last shoes I bought before I found out about Vivo Barefoot so these already were like the wider range from Echo it was pretty comfortable, way better than the usual shoes in, you can buy in the Netherlands, but still squeezing my toes, so I didn't enjoy wearing them as much anymore anyway, after I bought my Vivo Barefoot. So, wore them for two years. They have been used a lot, which is nice. 
let's see if all of these jackets and scarves and hats are going to fit in the closet upstairs. answer is maybe. I actually didn't expect it to fit, but yay, I made it work. Haha! <laughs> and then this mess, all these scarves and hats can go in this drawer, which is almost empty. I'm going to get my slippers out and put everything in here. So the closet is empty, but I'm not going to remove the closet right now because I don't think I can carry it by myself or at least it doesn't need to happen today because the freezer will be delivered next week. So we have a little bit of time for that and I just reminded that maybe there are some things in the attic that I might want to get rid of. So I'm going to have a quick look over there. I found a few things that I want to get rid of here. I'm going to finally get rid of my old leather jacket. I used it as like a backup jacket last year. But it is time to say goodbye. And I also found these old snow boots, <laughs> these old snow boots that I got gifted once, which uh, I hardly used, which is a shame, but those years we didn't have snow and now I have these leather ones Ooh. these leather ones which are warmer so Ooh. these can go and I also found a few things which I have never used which I also got gifted long ago which I'm never I never intended to use so these can go as well so this is everything i'm decluttering this time around it is a lot more than i anticipated i'm very happy with it i'm content with how much i've decluttered and everything feels now fresh again i can't wait for the freezer to arrive i hope you enjoyed watching me declutter and reorganize the home and i'll see you in my next one bye Summertime, when I 